So the Wheatstone Bridge, uh, a balanced Wheatstone Bridge we're looking at first of all. So a Wheatstone Bridge is made up of two voltage dividers connected in parallel with each other. If you want to calculate what the voltages are across any of the given resistors, these are the equations that you use. Across the middle of the, the Wheatstone Bridge, in other words, between the two, if you like, a bridge between the two voltage dividers, you will have some kind of meter. So that's going to be a voltmeter or an ammeter or perhaps even a galvanometer, which is just really a sensitive ammeter. Uh, that's connected between the two voltage dividers to measure the potential difference or the current dependent upon which meter you're using. So if that potential difference is zero or if that current is zero, then the bridge is said to be balanced. In other words, R1 is equal to R2 and R3 is equal to R4, as we'll see on the next pages. So there are three different ways that the Wheatstone bridge can be represented. You can have it just like this with two, uh, two sets of voltage dividers in parallel with each other. You can have it the second method, uh, whereby you have uh, a different sort of parallel branch, but you know the, the net effect is still the same. And the more complicated version where it's in a sort of diamond shape, um, but they, they're all representing exactly the same thing. The only thing is, when you're looking at this one down here, it becomes a wee bit more difficult to, to figure out which resistor is which. I've shown all three of the meters here, because it can either be an ammeter, a voltmeter, or a galvanometer, and it can look one of these three different ways. This is the hardest one, but when in doubt, what to do is just look at where the, the, the meter is going and look at the points that it, um, it cuts the voltage dividers at, and it is the resistors either side of that that become R1, R2, R3, and R4. So we finished off with uh, a little example. You'll do one of your own in a wee second, where we have uh, the diamond shape, the harder of the three. The, the meter is cutting it in half, so these two are going to be up here, and these two are going to be up here. You've got to get them around the correct way. So if this, if the 0.5 mega ohms, as you see on the, the side here, is on the bottom, then the RX has also got to be uh, on the bottom too. R1 over R2 equals R3 over R4. That basically just says that in order for the, the Wheatstone bridge to be balanced, in order for this reading on this meter to be zero, whether it's potential difference or whether it's current, uh, the resistors have got to have the same values. So that means that your potential comes out at being zero. So that's the equation you use, just simple substitution from there, cross multiplication if you like at this stage, and then just give your answer and your units as normal.